Well, I finally got some snow. <laughs> After waiting for it uh, a couple of weeks ago now, I think, and it never arrived. And now we got it yesterday. I was going to camp yesterday, but it wasn't enough on the ground around me. So I thought oh, I'll leave it another day because it's going to snow overnight. And it did, and it's beautiful. It's not particularly deep, but I'll take it. <laughs> it's been a couple of years since we've had any proper snow here in the south. I've um, just got the Pomoli tent up and the stove in there. So, you know, other than the sleep system and that, that's pretty much ready to go. Oh, I've got the uh, little sledge with me, so uh, that's going to come in handy for going to get some firewood in a minute. Yeah, loving it. <laughs> it's beautiful down here. First time I've seen this particular woodland covered in snow. May have a little look at the stream first. Seen plenty of deer prints already while I've been down here, so they've been pretty active just in the space of a day, all over the place. Water level is actually pretty high at the moment. I've been thinking about doing like a, a rotisserie spit water wheel, and I'll uh, probably have to do it after this snow all melts while the um, water's high enough to be able to do it here with enough of a flow as well. I'm going to kill two birds with one stone here. I've got two trail cameras to put out, and that's up near the wood store, so I'll stuff them in here and get moving with this. Should make it a bit easier being able to fill this up. As you may be able to see in here, it's very dry. I did consider spending the night in here, but I've got a load more wood <laughs> that I brought down not long ago. So I'm just going to collect up some of this. We're going to have to do a, another trip because I, I want to fire tonight as well as doing the stove later on. But um, I nearly slept in my natural shelter tonight so I'm just going to have a little wander while there's still light and have a little look at it. 
just see how it kept the snow off even though I've not maintained it. It's so nice out here. It does make everything look a bit different though, <laughs> so hopefully I'm going the right way. Oh, I think I see it in the distance there. It's actually not too bad in here. There's snow coming in from the side, but from here back it's not too bad. Could have done it. It's very, very um, wet round here though. All the runoff from everything coming past this way and it's just sodden. But yeah, I'll take this down soon. That's some nice icicles. Second lot, just need to get a block to actually uh, chop this down on. Oh, got my chopping block. As you can see this one is the um, Swedish torch I demonstrated. I was going to go for at least another hour so I didn't really need it, so I thought I'd save it for firewood. Oh, it's a big one. That's interesting. It barely started really, it'd be going for a while. Whew, that's not a bad pile of firewood. <laughs> what I might do is put it in the sledge to keep it off the ground. It is very slightly snowing at the moment, it's supposed to tonight. Whew. It's definitely starting to snow now. Just as well, I've got most of the jobs done. Oh, I'd better fill this, let that wick soak for a while. I mean to refill this. Oh, 
I'm going to use this tripod that I've used for cooking in the past just to get the uh, lantern hung up move it about easily then Picked up a load of birch bark from in the cabin. So that's going to help get this going. Start it off a bit log cabin style. Got some matches with me today because of the stove and that, so I may as well use them. There's a few bits of pine in there and it's quite resinous. The rest is uh, chestnut. It's a good coppicer here in the UK, so it's readily available to me. Well, I can feel the temperature starting to drop. Probably half hour, three quarters of an hour of light left. So I'm relatively sorted. Need to get a sleep system out, but that'll be all right. Not sure when it's uh, supposed to snow. It's on and off, on and off, last couple of days. Yeah, get some coals and do some cooking. Hope you guys are all well. Anyone in the southeast here enjoying the snow? Actually getting a bit of heat out of this now. It's nice. Did have a robin friend hanging around camp. I'm not sure where he's gone. Wonder if he's the same one that's hanging around when I was up at the um, shelter. They are very inquisitive. I've, uh, I was just thinking I've seen this woodland in every season now. It's been nearly a year I've been coming here. Next month it'll be a year. And uh, it's been very helpful to have this over the last year. Been on private land filming. And what a year it's been, eh? I know what I've been doing recently. I don't usually talk about stuff off of uh, camera, but I've uh, been reliving older times and watching older films from my youth. Things like uh, Empire Records, Pump Up the Volume, Suburbia, that sort of thing. <laughs> reliving them early 90s. Better times. <laughs> But, uh, can't beat this moment right here, right now. It's very quiet. Can't hear any roads. 
snow really helps with that and the fact that there's not really any cars on the road at the moment either. Perfect. I'm just going to build this fire up and um, watch it get dark. As you probably saw, I put the ground sheet in here, I didn't even bother pegging it down. Got a foil mat. As it is snow under there. And just that trekology mat that I've been favouring lately. I will do a video on this on the review channel, it's, uh, it's a good mat. And I've been preferring it to my firma rest. Nice big fire now. And that's the OEX Leviathan. Just give that a chance to uh, loft up. Gets massive that one, nice down bag. Good price too. Oh, it's going to be a cosy one. splodges of snow coming down where heat from the fire is uh, melting the snow on the small branches and twigs up there. <laughs> Just splodges of it coming down. So I've definitely got some heat here. Well I haven't had to put my coat back on yet. Get dinner on shortly. Got the uh, small coffee spit here. Come on. <laughs> I'm just going to put that through this piece of beef. Like so. sea salt and pepper. It's going to be beautiful. Drive one of these stakes in. Put that end in so I know where I'm going. And there we go.
haven't actually got my um, headlamp with me today. I'm not sure what happened there, but uh, got this. Um, what is it? Phoenix light, which will just go on the pole. A hang up as well, but I can put it down further, which is handy. Time to give this a turn. I did it all the way. You may be able to see this. It has started snowing again. Not big clumps, but it's coming down. So I've definitely got dinner on in the nick of time. Hopefully you can hear that. Snow on the tent. Very relaxing. I'm just sat in the doorway of the tent at the moment, watching the fire, tending to the roast beef. Pretty good timing really. Well, I'm still in the tent here and I thought I'd do a bit of food prep. Just doing some potatoes, cubing them up. Kent potatoes to go with the beef. I'm just going to fry them off in a pan. Need to pull out some of these ashes so I can get some potatoes going. Just get some oil in. Nicely. I had some monge too, so I thought why not add it in? Bit of greenery for a change. Resting a minute, just gonna add on these. Do for the minute. And I 
suppose you're going to want to see me cut into this. Awkward. Wow, that looks pretty nice to me. Still got the uh, twine on it. It's like a rolled joint. Wow, that's good. Potatoes. Hmm. Nice. Some of that monge too. Monge too. Mmm, this is going to do nicely. moved inside the tent to eat this using the little stool as a um, table. It's beautiful. Perfectly cooked. A few little bits just to get that going. Well, it's been some time since I last filmed to be honest, I've been chilling out here in the tent, warming up, had some cold toes. <laughs> Even with this uh, stove going it is pretty chilly still but uh, I did go for a little walk around the woodland in the night and um, yeah it's definitely warmer in here. <laughs> uh, yeah, probably going to have a cuppa and um, get to bed to be honest, it's, uh, it's getting quite late now. It's getting quite cold now, it'd be nice to get in that nice uh, down sleeping bag. <laughs> so I'm going to get a cup of tea on. My handle broke. This is my cheapo one, not the Pathfinder one. <laughs> I think that's me done for the night. I'm gonna move this wood closer to me so I can just put it in the stove. But uh, it's actually quite warm in here now. Finally, kind of got up to temperature. 
I think some of the snow melted away that was on the ground and that. So I'm just going to sort out my bed, get my head down, get up nice and early. You can hear the uh, snow very faintly on the tent, so hopefully we'll have some fresh snow in the morning. Good morning. What a beautiful morning it is. I did set my alarm early and then I slept in. <laughs> it was very cosy inside the sleeping bag. I'd let the stove go out a few hours beforehand. But um, it's going again now for some breakfast and a little bit of warmth <laughs> before I pack away. It was a good night. I did wake up every time the stove was burning out and added a bit to it. But uh, yeah, that was only until early hours really and then I just let it go. Didn't get too much snow in the night, enough that you can see on the snow skirt and uh, my robin's back. Never stands still long enough for me to film it. <laughs> but yeah, it's coming down very lightly here and there. So, I think it's breakfast time. <laughs> it's late enough. As you can see I had the vents open quite a lot last night, it was worked out quite well. Um, I could have quite easily closed them up if the snow started really coming down, but because I had the stove on, yeah, it's a nice airflow going through. Got some of this roasted bacon you see in um, Polish shops here. 
They look pretty delicious and I thought, oh, that'd be good for camp. So I'm going to try some medium thick slices. I've still got the fat cap on so I'll have to trim that off the slices. Looks nice. Smells nice. <laughs> Do. I've got the port off here for some extra heat because it's not been on too long so we'll see if there's too much heat. Wow, it's really just starting snowing. <laughs> sudden. Well that's coming along nicely so I'm going to add in some blueberries. One giant pancake. Okay, so I think we're there. I just think this is going to be... I'm not sure why I made this so big. It's not going to hold together. Oh no! Right. Oh, I don't know where the bacon is actually. <laughs> oh my first disaster on the channel. <laughs> It smells nice, but it's not burnt. <laughs> well, here we go in the cold light of day. <laughs> well, it's all cooked. It's like some crazy bacon and blueberry pie. Some cake. I don't know. <laughs> See what it tastes like. Surprisingly good actually. <laughs> Alright, I think one more bite and I'll get some syrup on this and get it down me. I heard something hopping around outside the tent over here this morning. It was probably that Robin. So I've thrown him some blueberries, but I don't think he saw them. He keeps moving around and around from branch to branch. So what I'll do is I'll leave some where the tent was. 
because he's bound to check that out when I've gone. <laughs> Should have made some fat balls, still could I guess, next time I come down. Oh, there he is. <laughs> right in front of me at the moment. If I grab the camera it'll go. <laughs> it's right up close now. Just on a branch right in front of me. Eating snow by the looks of it. <laughs> Try and reach for the blueberries. It's looking at them. Are you brave? He's gone for it. He's gone for it. I wish I could grab the camera. It's picking at the blueberries. <laughs> well, he knows where it is now. There's some prints for some different birds. This one's obviously a bigger one than the robin. I think this could be the robin, these smaller ones over here. Didn't hear this one. <laughs> Well, the beautiful sun's come out. Casting shadows and everything around the woodland looks lovely. I've got to say goodbye to my Robin friend who's still hopping around. Been over my pack and everything. <laughs> and goodbye to you guys. I'll see you again soon. Hopefully the snow will stick around. We'll see.